Hey guys, so welcome to January the 1st and obviously Happy New Year! Woo! I've got my Saturday's calendar there. Frankie. I have Saturday's calendar every year. So yeah, welcome to January 1st, New Year's, Eve, New, Year New Year's Day. Uh, so Happy New Year. Uh, have you got any resolutions? Let me know. So yeah, this quote is... Doesn't have anybody actually. Oh yeah, by the way, you're probably probably wondering why I'm wet. I've just got home from work, so this is also why it's late as well, because I've been working since this morning, so and I walked home and I'm drenched. So yep. You are beautifully and wonderfully made. A while back I decided I needed a mantra of my own. Something that was personal and meaningful that I could tell myself to bring comfort and love as well as root myself in the present moment. The Bible says, You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So I came up with, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. I, said it, I say it to myself all the time and it really helps me find peace knowing that I am perfect just as I am and that I don't need anything beyond what I have within me. So the goal is, in this new year, come up with a mantra that is just yours. Each day, look into the mirror and repeat it back to yourself. Yeah, I think as well, that's kind of why, you know, people get tattoos, you know, like stay strong on like your wrists, whatever, so it's something to look at every day. To remind yourself to keep going, so um, mantra. I'm guessing it just means you know, like a phrase that's going to keep going, or something that's like really positive. Um, for me, one that I've always stuck by is that you know, no one's perfect, and it's okay to have flaws. Basically, you know, you don't need to impress everybody. So that's something I tell myself every day. And it's a good thing because, you know, definitely, sorry, a bit windy as well, um, obviously people have this, especially with people in the public eye, you think you need to look like them, that you need to be skinny, like if you're a girl or whatever, or if you're a, or if you're a guy, you think you need to be like muscly to get a successful relationship or get anywhere, that like you think it's all about looks and whatever, but it really isn't, and... And as well, you kind of feel like you have to be someone else for other people in order to, for you to get by. So then you kind of get lost about who you are because you're being like seven completely different people people to seven different people. You know, you've got, it seems like you have seven different personalities and then it's really hard to find who you really are yourself. And... So yeah, I think definitely one of those, but yeah, so thank you for watching. I'm going to go now, dry, have something to eat, and I will see you soon. Bye!